these two-day programs for stakeholders towards the effective implementation of the state's violence against persons prohibition law 2022 is organized by the Kogi state government through the office of the public defender and citizens rights commission this law is a landmark achievement in the fight against violence against persons in Kogi state it provides a comprehensive framework for the prevention protection and prosecution of all forms of violence against persons, including physical, sexual, and emotional. It even includes economic violence. His lordship supports the lofty objectives of the law, which is meant to prohibit violence in all forms against all persons, regardless of gender, societal status, or creed as well as protection of the victims. Defined violence or gender-based violence as violence against persons on the basis of their sex. And also it includes violence in different forms like mental, psychological, physical, economic, social, threats of violence, inhuman and degrading treatment, torture, etc. You can go on and on. A synopsis of the law is presented to participants as the Director General of Public Defense and Citizens' Rights. If you narrow down to family circle, where the immediate member of the family are involved in a crime, the father is still the sole provider for the family or the mother is still the sole provider for the family. And you hand down, you bring down on the, on the perpetrator the highest of punishment where the state's machinery have no provisions to cater for the upbringing of those children. And as I speak with you, we have, we have a charge that was actually pending in court, and we're faced with what happened to the family at the end of the day. We mediate, we resolve, we have settled them. But because of the attitude of the husband, we're pressing the charge. The two-day program is designed to shed light on the anti-violence law which is aimed at ensuring a healthy society devoid of all forms of violence against persons regardless of gender or social status. All right, joining us from Lokoja, the Kogi State Capital, is the Director General, Public Defender and Citizens' Rights Commission, Mr. Abdullah Zachary. Thank you for joining us on the program, News Across Nigeria. Thank you. It's with all pleasure. All right, so let's start, uh, if you can tell us plainly, uh, the objective of this awareness campaign, especially with the outcome of the recent uh, uh, election or the governorship election, uh, which has seen the emergence of uh, Usman Ududu as the governor of Kogi State. What can you tell us about this uh, awareness campaign? Thank you for the opportunity. I think, importantly, the, the, the Kogi State uh, Violence Against Persons Provision Law was signed last year in June, I set the stage for ensuring, for curbing excesses that usually goes with uh, violence, violence in several forms. You know, when we talk about violence, we talk about the colors of violence, it could be domestic, it could be emotional, it could be economic. And then the Kogi State Violence Against Persons Provision Law specifically prohibits violence at elections. And because it prohibits violence at elections, they need to prepare the state atmosphere for a free and fair election devoid of any form of violence became very, very imperative. And the law is new. So there was also the need to put the law in the public space. What we did was to, through the support of the state government, produce over 1,000 copies of the law and then get stakeholders, assemble stakeholders from across the DSS, the police, the civil defense, faith-based organizations, civil society organizations, to talk to them on the implication of violence during elections, as well as other prohibitions that are in the law. And I think that actually set the template for the relative peace, in addition to the state of the relative peace that we enjoyed in the state during the election. And what is more paramount now is that in Kogi State, when you talk about violence against persons, both in private and public life, it is no longer business as usual because there is a law that actually prohibits such crimes. And then the law also was domiciled with my own agency 
Kogi State Office of the Public Defender and Senate Rights Commission. This agency is sat with responsibility of implementing the law, and then we have been able to do quite a number of cases, handle a lot of matters. And I think the, 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 feed, the, the feedback is good because most persons, once they hear about PDCROC, they say, no, if they get you, you are in crisis. And I think that is a good thing. Kogi is one of the states that actually have that law in place. And the provisions are so overwhelming in terms of rape. You know, rape has taken all manner of colors in our societies. The, the violence against men have actually liberalized. A, 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 a rape now is that whether you are a man or a woman, you could commit rape. You understand? And then there are clear cases of abandonment of children, abandonment of responsibility, eject, forced rejection of persons from home, especially in matrimonial homes. These are some of the provisions that the law prohibits, and then all efforts are made to actually ensure that the provisions of this law are duly implemented and enforced for the peace-loving people of the state. So, which brings me to the next question. Of course, awareness is definitely key, uh, especially for your agency, uh, for people to know exactly uh, what is going on as far as uh, uh, gender-based violence uh, is concerned. And as uh, like Jacob also rightly pointed out in, in terms of elections, but what steps have been taken so far in ensuring that people are protected in, in Kogi State? I think fundamentally, Kogi is one of the states in this country, though within the northern region, that insecurity is, 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 is seriously minimized. We could say that when you just appraise the entire north central states, Kogi State is one of the states that you could speak to security, it is not as it is in most parts of the states. And it has to do with all the provisions that government has made to ensure that there is security in the state. In addition, all the security agents that are involved, the critical stakeholders in this process, they are very, very conversant with the provisions of this law and have been told on what and what to do. In fact, the greater challenge is reporting violence, especially those that are covered with the provisions of the law. And all we do is to ensure that once we have the stakeholders, so part of the awareness is to speak out against violence in whatever form it is, be it political, be it in the office, be it the private life, then all these have actually put the environment on sufficient notice that there is a new sheriff in town. The new sheriff in town is the law. And I think that has actually helped seriously in ensuring that uh, we have minimal reported cases of, uh, of violence. And I think that's a good thing that has happened to us at the state level. But before that, we, we, we are the Office of the Public Defender and Civil Rights Commission. It's a full-blown government agency that provides legal aids to persons, indigent persons. We are also the state agents that protect human rights. And in doing all these things, you cannot dissect it fully from issues of violence. Because in all violence, in all complaints about violence, you see issues of violations of fundamental human rights. And the way and manner our agency is strictly designated to handle such matters has actually also helped the environment in ensuring that Kogi is not like very many other states. And I tell you, the dedicated agents that the state government created for the purpose of this were only one in six states of Nigeria that have such agencies. And that shows a government that have actually some commitment to the rights of particularly the common persons, a government that has an interest in how the human rights of citizens of that particular community are protected. And the government that also have an interest in ensuring that you cannot deliver dividends of democracy without enshrining peace within that particular environment. And oh, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that, Mr. Abdullahi Zakari. My, my apologies, my sincere apologies, but we'll definitely have to leave it at that. But we thank you so much for your thoughts on the program, News Across Nigeria. That's our guest, Mr. Abdullahi Zakari, Public Defender, that's Director General, Public Defender and Citizens' Rights Commission in Kogi State. But thank you once again for your thoughts. Thank you, Abrufu. Thank you. Thank you.